welcome to this tutorial and uh I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own logo in game version 2. If you'll notice, I got a new intro. I think it's pretty good. It's made by David Wood FX, and he does it for free. <coughs> so I think that was pretty nice of him. Alright, so we're going to open up an 800 by 600 image. And uh, I'm just going to stroke it down with a radial gradient, silver to white. And just stroke from in to out. And I think that's pretty good. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to drag a circle about like that maybe a little bit skinnier like that <clears throat> and we're going to stroke it down with a silver to dark silver or gray and uh, make a new layer and then stroke that down and actually you should put the mode back on linear And actually, let's go with a lighter gray on top. I think that actually makes it look better. Alright, and then we're going to go select shrink and no, not by 30. 16. So, Alright, let's do it actually. Undo that. Select shrink by 25. And then uh, make a new layer below that and do the gradient except from top to bottom or from bottom to top and put that on top actually there from top to bottom and then select shrink again by 25 and then go edit cut on both layers edit actually um you don't need to do edit cut on this layer because we're just going to stroke down with a, a light blue to a really dark blue gradient like that and we can select none and actually I wanted to do that on a new layer just like that alright and if you select none there it is there's a sort of buttony logo <clears throat> and I'm going to put in our text now, and I'm just going to write GIMP and use the text uh, Rockwell Bold. Uh, Rockwell Bold. Alright, <clears throat> and we'll turn up the size. I think about that's good. <clears throat> ah. that at zero. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know why I did that. <coughs> and uh, we're just going to move that to the center right there. And we're going to click the centering tool. And then we're just going to auto crop layer. So go layer, auto crop layer. And then just try and move it into the center. So that's good. It doesn't matter what color it is. We're going to alpha to selection it. Make a new layer below it. Fill that in with black select none go filters blur gaussian blur of uh, nine on the black layer and then alpha to selection the uh, text and go select grow by one pixel and actually we we'll have to go layered image size uh, layered image size and then layered image size and then go edit on the shadow layer go edit cut select none and then we don't need this layer alright <coughs> we can just delete that layer we don't need it <coughs> and on the text layer we're gonna have to put our layer mode on to move the active layer so that we can move this around so I think that's good right there and it's a pretty good effect alright that's good right there alright so uh, now I think we can just merge that down and the alpha to selection the sphere and under the sphere go intersect with selection and we're just gonna make the gloss so put white as your foreground color and under the gradients go FG to transparent 
and then on a new layer we're just going to stroke down and we can select none and we're going to turn that layer opacity pretty much pretty down that's good actually we can turn the opacity full the way up and put it on overlay and maybe duplicate it no it's not a good effect actually i think normal but a really low think about 23 is good just to add a gloss effect maybe 34 that's good all right and uh, i think we can now we can merge that down and we can merge <coughs> that down so that the sphere is in one layer and that actually looks pretty cool but all right now alpha to selection the uh, sort of button background and go uh, make a new layer below it and out and uh, fill that in with black you can select none and then go filters blur gaussian blur and i'm just gonna blur it by about five that's maybe even be a little bit too much no never mind we <coughs> um actually i should probably should have done it a little bit more so i'm just gonna repeat the gaussian blur so that's about a blur of 10 is good actually let's do it a little bit more 15 that's actually all right 15 so 25 all right and merge that down <coughs> and uh now what we're going to do is just create a uh, back border sort of thing so we're just going to use our rectangle rectangular select tool <coughs> and uh maybe put it a little bit like that like that maybe and then uh make a new layer uh, below everything except for the background <coughs> and stroke that down with a uh, light green to dark green gradient and put the gradient on fg to background fg to bg and just stroke down okay and uh i'm going to actually do it the other way around Right, and we can select none and then we can add a shadow so make a new layer below that alpha to selection it fill it in with black sorry about that on the bottom layer select none go filters blur gaussian blur and blur it by i'd say 30 around 30 that's good <coughs> and we can merge that down and let's just add a gloss so alpha to selection it and then use the intersect with selection effect again and just create a gloss so I'll put white as your foreground and then FG to transparent and just stroke down and uh, it, we don't have to do it on a new layer because it already looks good but like that so that is how you make your own logo in GIMP. Thanks for watching this tutorial.